morning everyone and Merry Christmas. It's Christmas Day and I'm very excited. I've just had a shower and I've washed my hair. Ali's parents have like a really, they have like traditions, don't they? Like they have, they do things like in a set way. So we're gonna go and have breakfast, which will be scrambled eggs and salmon and champagne, won't we? Mm -hmm. And then we all like sit, get ready and then we go and have, um, then we go and open our Christmas presents, don't we? Yeah. Do you wanna come and sit in? Yeah, okay. Come on then. <laughs> I don't wait, let me zoom out a little bit. So we're gonna go and have breakfast now and um, then we're gonna get dressed and like sorted and then open our presents and then we like, do we have lunch straight away after? Mm, we sort of all like play with our presents. Oh yeah. As, as it were. <laughs> Cause we're still kids. Yeah. Um, and then when dinner's ready, we'll have dinner which varies from year to year. Right. Well, so, I mean, last year we actually ended up like shooting a blog post. Remember? Oh yeah. In between that Time's time. Of, yeah, yeah. It was. Yeah. yeah. We didn't have boundaries then. No. Um, but yeah. So you're just going to be coming with us for Christmas Day because I thought that I would share it with you because it's just such a nice thing when we're here. Like I love it here. I've had four Christmases here now. So yeah, we do have a routine. I just love it here, so I thought I would share it with you. Anyway, we're going to go and have some scrambled eggs and salmon and champagne to kick off the festivity, festi festivities. Festivities. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, yeah, let's go. Happy Christmas. Happy Christmas. <laughs> I am wearing some Olivia Von Hal pyjamas, which are, like, silky and soft. And then I've got some mint velvet slippers on for Snuggle Fest. Ooh. And no makeup. The Christmas lights fill the city. There are people everywhere. This is the third tradition in the Gordon household. 
So we've done the champagne, strawberries, scrambled egg, smoked salmon, present. So actually this is four really. This is the legendary sausage roll. <laughs> So now it's about 7 p.m. I never made it out of my pajamas and um, I lost count of how many glasses of Prosecco I've had. I've had a snooze on the sofa and we've had lunch. And I think now, we just watched The Jungle Book as well, and I think now we're probably gonna get ready to have like some kind of dinner, but it'll be like picky dinner. But um, it's been a really lovely day. I love Christmas so much. We've had such a good Christmas this year. It's been so good. Um, but yeah, I'm in the bathroom because I don't want to disturb anyone else. So I thought I'd come in here and vlog instead. Um, but yeah, I think I've got wine eyes, which is really funny. <laughs> wine eyes. But yeah, I'm wearing these still. I never made it out of my pajamas, which is the sign of a good day in my eyes. <laughs> So this is another tradition. This is what we have after we've had Christmas lunch. It's just kind of like picky foods, like bread and cheese and crisps and meat and stuff like that. So we're all gonna tuck in. So that's it for Christmas 2016. Everyone is in bed and we're gonna go to sleep now as well. And the good, pardon? What'd you say? Oh, and the good news is I didn't get out of my pajamas. So I'm ready for bed already which is brilliant. <laughs> but I'm super sleepy and I'm ready to do it all again tomorrow on Boxing Day. Night. So we just got home from Ali's dad's house and from all of the Christmas Day festivities. I haven't got any product in my hair today and I haven't even straightened it, so it looks a little bit weird. It's just kind of, yeah. Um, yeah, so we've just got back and we're just dropping everything off and sort of unpacking and then we're going to Ali's mum's house to finish off the festivities, I guess. So we're going to have more drinks and more food and just spend some time with them. But I just thought to finish off Vlogmas, I would show you a few of the little bits that I got for Christmas because I don't get like loads and loads of presents under the tree so it won't take me long at all. Um, but we got some really lovely gifts this year and obviously I know that these kinds of videos are a bit controversial not everyone loves them and this is just a little bit of a vloggy what I got for Christmas because you would have seen bits when I unwrapped them so I thought that I'd show you them in a little bit more detail very very quickly so obviously for starters I got engaged and if you didn't see that video I will link it down below so you can just kind of see me explain what happened and then you can see lots of pictures and whatnot on my Instagram which again you will find on screen if you want to go and see those um these are just my little presents aside from my very very big present that is forever <laughs> then from ali's dad and stepmom we got such a lovely gift basically ali and i have wanted to visit the spa at the corinthia hotel for a very very long time so they got us both a spa day at the corinthia and i think what we're going to do is combine it with an overnight stay so that we can stay overnight and enjoy the sort of relaxation because it's supposed to be one of the best spas ever and it's supposed to be huge it's like over four floors and it just looks incredible. So that was like such a thoughtful and lovely gift just to give us a little bit of downtime together as well because sometimes um, it's nice to just spend a little bit of time together. I got chocolates and um, alcohol from Ali's Nan and Gramps. And we also got vouchers from Ali's mum to go to a restaurant that we really like here in Milton Keynes called the Carrington Arms. So we've got like a hundred pound voucher to go and have dinner there together as well. And then finally, what Ali also got me for Christmas. Oh, it's got foundation prints on the box. <laughs> but I also, oh, what else is there? Is that everything? Yeah, and Ali then got me this purse. I feel like this purse was a bit of a cover up because I was like, oh my God, he's not got me a Christmas present. And I obviously didn't know that he had got me a huge Christmas present. Um, but it's just to replace my card wallet. Sorry. You can come in. 
Okay, it's just to replace my card wallet because I obviously lost or had that stolen. It had all my ID in it, but it was never returned. And it was just a little card wallet, but I realized that it would be nice to have like a change pocket and somewhere to put some money. I got the caviar leather and it's got the gold hardware, which I haven't actually taken the sticker off of yet because I haven't started using it. Um, but it's just a small one. I don't like big bulky purses because they don't fit in like my smaller bags or anything like that. So I got this and it's got like, it's got card holders here and here and then I can put like notes and bits and bobs in there and then change in the back. So that will be very useful. My parents also got us like alcohol and a little frame to put little pictures in. Um, but that's everything that I got this Christmas and just some lovely little bits that I can't wait to use and that are going to be very, very useful going into the new year. So yeah, this has been such a lovely Christmas and I want to thank like both of our families for being amazing and just making it so special and enjoyable and festive. And I'm sad that, I'm so sad that it's over. I'm literally so sad that Christmas is over. Now is when winter becomes rubbish because you've kind of like left all of the festivities behind and all you want to do is just carry them on. And now it's just a long old schlog until uh, the summer. I had a lovely, lovely Christmas time and I hope that everyone else did and obviously I'm thinking of all of the people that aren't with us when we have Christmas. It's so sad that there are so many people that are missing around the Christmas table as well. Um, so sad to hear about George Michael as well. Like I feel like I grew up listening to him. That was such a shock. We were all just sat dozing in front of the TV and then heard the news and for me I was such a big George Michael fan. I know so many of the songs like off by heart and I read his book and my grandpa used to sit me in front of his like sound system when I was really little. I had these big white headphones on. And I just used to listen to his albums over and over again. So it kind of reminds me of my grandpa as well. And it's just so, so sad. Really, really sad. I actually felt like I had a lump in my throat. Ali finds that so weird, but <laughs> I did feel so sad to hear that he was gone and especially so young as well. Like he should not have gone that, that young. But yeah, so sad, but I did have a lovely Christmas period and I hope that you all did as well and I'm looking forward to New Year's now and um, hopefully I'll be vlogging that as well if I can remember. Once I've had a Prosecco or two I'm like, no, don't worry about it. <laughs> but um, no, we should have a very lovely time. But yeah, I hope you've enjoyed Vlogmas. It's the end of Vlogmas, which is so weird and I think I've learned a lot doing vlogmas this year I've learned that as much as I would love to be a daily vlogger um, it is a lot a lot of work and you kind of put your life on hold quite a bit pardon I have sent the draft over for the video <gasps> should we download it oh my god we've just got our, um we just got our engagement video through <laughs> But yeah, no, I've learned so much doing Vlogmas this year and um, I might do it a little bit differently next year um, But there may be times when I vlog a little bit more like my birthday month, which is April I'm thinking about doing that as well. So we'll, we'll see what happens, but I'm very excited for 2017 and um, I'm sure I'll see you in a video before then though But thank you so much for watching Vlogmas with me. I hope you've enjoyed it and I will see you in my next video Thank you so much for watching. Bye